Windows 8.1 has been out for a while now, and we believe some of you might be still on Windows 8 or on Windows 7 hesitating whether to upgrade to this latest operating system. And let me tell you that you should actually upgrade to Windows 8.1 if you can, because today I'm going to show you some of the cool features in this operating system with our Asus Taichi over here. I'm Warren from KL Gadget Guy. Let's get to Windows 8.1 on our ASUS Tai Chi. First of all, we'd like to thank ASUS Malaysia for loaning us the Tai Chi 21 for our review over here. Alright, so it was preloaded with Windows 8 and we upgraded to Windows 8.1. Our Tai Chi 21 is a Core i5 version with 4GB of RAM. So let's take a look at the first feature over here. Sorry, I just opened an app. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the start screen has a new team. Alright, so this, this team is not available on Windows 8. So to change the theme, usually we have to go to PC settings over there and only we can change it, right? Now, there's no need to do that. First of all, <clears throat> you slide to the left for the charms and you go to settings. Previously on Windows 8, you only see start, tiles and help. And now that there's a personalized, so it's basically a shortcut. So let's press on personalize. And you get to see the themes that you are able to choose. It's still pretty limited in my opinion, but it's definitely good enough. So you can choose the theme that you actually actually want. For example, I like I like I really like this one, and <clears throat> you are able to choose the color that you want the background color and the accent color, right right from the right from this side. This side, no need to go to PC settings. So this theme is really special. Take a look. So if I slide to the left, see the graphics get moving. This is the only unique theme that I find in Windows 8.1 that has such kind of effect. Right. So the second thing that I need to tell you is you are able to make the tile smaller, right? So if I slide to the left for chunks again and go to settings, and you'll find that there's a tiles over here which is pretty much the same as Windows 8. But when you press on tiles, you see a new option called show more tiles instead of only show administrative tools. So when I press yes, you'll find that the tiles immediately shrinks and you are able to see more tiles on the start screen. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to show you is PC settings. It has definitely got much more cleaner and more structured. So let's go to settings in the trans menu and we're going to press change PC settings. Alright, so as you can see over here, the PC settings are now much more structured. You get to have PC and devices, accounts, SkyDrive, session apps and etc. Which is pretty good and we love it. Right, you can even search for a setting if you are not sure which one you are, you are looking for. Right, so let's go to PC and devices because we are going to feature that only. We are not going to focus on other things because this is the part where you find it interesting. Right, so you have lock screen, display, Bluetooth devices, mouse and touchpad, and etc. So you don't need to go to control panel to change all these all these settings. But from this touch friendly interface, you can change basically almost everything on your PC. Right, so. The new thing about the lock screen is that it supports slideshow. As you can see, I've added my Taiwan trip pictures into the lock screen. And also, you are able to swipe down the lock screen to switch on the camera. So it's pretty good if you have a Windows tablet that has a dedicated camera for shooting. Unfortunately, our Asus Tai Chi is not suitable for photography. Alright, so let's try the lock screen as I've been able to slideshow over here. And I'm going to close the settings app and you're going to lock the device. It should play the slash show immediately. Just go to lock. And the slash show should start in a few moments. It should be loading and it should start very soon. There you go. The slash show starts. It took a moment for the tablet to load due to a lot of pictures, I believe, and high resolution pictures because it's taken with my camera. So there's the slideshow that you'll be seeing. Unfortunately, there's no way that we can set the duration on how long uh, how long a picture should actually switch. Right. So let's try um, going to the camera by swiping down the lock screen. One, two, three. Let's swipe down. And there you go. There's our camera app. The camera is right here and it's showing the camera. Unfortunately, it's not me. Alright, so let's unlock the device and type in my pin code. The next great feature that I want to mention over here is the share feature on Windows 8.1. Previously, the share button on Windows 8 is pretty useless unless you are in an app. 
But outside of an app such as you are in the desktop, you are in an internet explorer in desktop mode, or even if you are on the start screen, the share button has become pretty useful in that case. So when we press the share button, it actually says select an app and try again instead of they're starting to share from the start screen. So if I press on start over here, I actually get two selections. One is start, the second is the screenshot, which is what everybody actually wants. You know, because on a touchscreen device, there's no easy way to take a screenshot with Windows. So Microsoft has actually done a good job by using the share feature to, to take a screenshot. So let's try taking a screenshot over here. One, two, three, go. And when I, when I select a screenshot and it captures the whole start screen, I'm actually able to share it immediately to a fresh pane, an app that supports the screenshot feature, and also send an email. So if I try sending an email over here, it will open my mail app side by side, and there will be an attachment over here. Immediately, there, there is an attachment of the screenshot, which is very neat, and we love this feature very much. The last feature that we want to show you on the start screen is the customized feature. So you may find a lot of tiles in the start screen and it might get you confused at times. So you sometimes wish if you could create something like folders on the start screen. And with Windows 8.1, you can actually group your apps and even name them. So let's do customize. So I'm going to swipe down the screen over here and I see a customize button. Alright, so it looks pretty much the same like Windows 8 where you can arrange your icons. But there's one new thing over here, which is renaming an app group. For example, I'm at ASUS Apps over here. I can just tap on it, and then I can change the name. Probably if you just, um, I'm going to tap over here. Right, the apps, apps arrangement is much more easier. Let's do that again. It's a little bit difficult to do it from the touch page. All right, so I'm going to just change the name to ASUS, and that's it. It became ASUS. So. I can actually group my apps into, into names, which is very neat if let's say this, this isn't in a group. I'm going to do customize again. I'm going to just, um, you know, it doesn't work. So I'm going to just press customize again and I'm going to name the group. Let's type Microsoft Office. It should be that way. There you go. Yes. Oh, it's Microsoft PPs. I've typed the wrong, the wrong way. So, Dress Microsoft Office, it is actually in a group right now. Alright, now on to desktop mode. The first thing that you'll notice on the taskbar is that the start button is finally back. When you press on the start button, it just brings you to the start screen. That's pretty much what it does. Alright, so it is more convenient if you just tap on the start button instead of holding up the trunks and press the start button. Alright, so one feature that I want to note over here is the convenience of turning on and off your wireless connection. Right, so usually when we want to turn on and off our wireless connections, we have to go to PC settings in Windows 8 and we turn off Wi-Fi over there or we just switch on AirPlay mode in the settings, in the settings page. Right, but in Windows 8.1, it is a different story already. So if we go into settings and we press on our wireless icon over here, and you'll get to see you'll be able to turn off Wi-Fi on and off instead of enabling airplane mode which we find is very very good you know because sometimes we just want to turn off Wi-Fi but enable Bluetooth for our Bluetooth mouse and other peripherals which is pretty useful the next thing that I want to show you is the way that we can lock into the desktop mode instead of the start screen on Windows 8.1 because on previous previous Windows 8 version we we get to go to the start screen instead of the desktop. So people want that and Microsoft has, has implemented it. So how do we do that is we go to the taskbar properties. It's very well hidden, I have to add it there. So let's right click on the taskbar and press on properties. All right, so you will see four tabs over here and we, we are going to do navigation. So let me zoom in the camera and you'll be able to see it much more clearer if that's the case. So the option is on the first one, when I sign in or close all apps on the screen, go to the desktop instead of start. So when I enable the first when I enable the first option over here, I'll be taken into start when I start up my ASUS Tai Chi. Right, it is it is quite a good feature for some of those who don't like the start screen, but you know, I would just leave that option unpicked because the start screen looks pretty cool when starting up. The next feature that I'm going to show you is the search function in Windows 8.1. It does improve tremendously and it is very much useful. 
So let's call the Tom Start and we're going to press on the search button over here. So one thing that you'll notice over here is that it allows you to search everywhere and when you tap on it, it actually lets you choose whether you want to search settings, files, web images or even web videos. It's part of my big by the way. And we really love you know, uh, the settings part because sometimes when you don't even know where to set that particular setting, it really, really works out in this way. So for example, I, I want to do some configurations to my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to type Wi-Fi over here, W-I-F-I. Alright, so it calls out everything related to Wi-Fi. I have my Wi-Fi manual, diagnostics, these are Intel apps and I get to connect to your network if I don't know where, where, to, where to press on um, connecting to your network. I can even change Wi-Fi settings by, by pressing over here. So it basically calls out everything that is related, related to Wi-Fi, which is very useful. And if you look at the terms under here, you get to see Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Booster, Wi-Fi Hacker. These are actually some search terms from Bing. It's suggested by Bing. So probably let's just try Wi-Fi Booster. So it calls out Bing and these are the search results populated from Bing. So when I press one of them, let's, let's try this one, Wi-Fi Range Booster, Wireless Amplifier. I'm going to press on it and it brings me to Internet Explorer, right? The page that it actually gives the search result. It is very neat. This feature is really, really neat, you know, because you don't even need to go to Internet Explorer to do a search. But just call the thumbs bar and you are able to search anything that is on the web. We really love this feature. Finally, let's talk about apps. So we are first going to the Windows Store over here. It has gone through a pretty great improvement. So this is a live tile. The Windows Store tile is now a live tile. So let's go inside to the Windows Store and let's get it loaded. The Windows Store has pretty much improved um, like, like an Android Play, like Android's Play Store and even um, App Store on iOS. So if you, if you look at here, it actually features the apps that is most downloaded by people. I don't know why it's in Malay, I, I don't understand that. But, you know, it could be localization issues on my Tai Chi. Right, so it actually suggests you apps that you should try out. Right, and when you slide down, you actually get to select the categories which is not available on Windows 8 last time. You need to, you need to search for categories by just swiping a screen around which is kind of weird. You know, and the apps now, the, the app layout now looks pretty much like um, like Play Store or iOS App Store, right? We, we really love how it is being arranged now. So if we go into an app, for example, I'm going into YouTube, right? So when I go into YouTube HD and I'm able to see the screenshots, which is pretty much the same, but you know, one extra thing is that I'm able to see ratings when I swipe to the left. I'm going to and I'm able to see the permissions that the app has to use and here are some of the related apps that I can download apart from this one which is pretty cool and I can search for apps over here as well right so let's go back to the main main page and that's pretty much it has top pay and top free you know it is, it's pretty much like an, an, a Google uh, Play Store a Google Play Store implementation on the Windows Store that is pretty cool and we love the new Windows Windows Store. Microsoft also included two new Bing apps. One is called Bing Food and the other is called Bing Health. So let's go into Bing Food. Bing Food is pretty interesting as you get to search recipes of food. So these are all the food that is being featured and I don't know where, where does it come from. It, it probably comes from Bing. Alright, so you're able to browse recipes. You can even add a recipe if you want shopping list, meal plan. You know, it really takes care of your of your meal of your daily meal right so these are some of the featured recipes that Bing has actually populated so let's try mixed root vegetable ready let's just press this one and while it's loading you see I get to see the recipe of the mixed root vegetable ready I'm going to see um, what is the source the ingredients and the steps and unfortunately I don't think this video let's press on this info it's copyright DK publishing so is actually from a third party source right so Bing, Bing food is quite fun if you really like cooking right and you want to uh, make sure that you're on a good diet or health you can actually use Bing food to, to do that next let's take a look at Bing health and fitness so this is pretty much like S health on Galaxy, on Galaxy devices and 
We find that you are able to keep track of your health by entering your weight, you're tracking your calories and tracking your workouts if, if you want. And you can even see some tips and tricks over here um, if, if you want, you know, on how to do workouts, how to reduce your weight and how to maintain your health. And here are all the articles related to health and fitness. It's, also, it's a very interesting app and we love to see at times, I, do, I mean I love to see at times to see how I can maintain my health as I'm pretty fat. The last feature that I'm going to show you today is Reading List, which is something like Pocket on iOS and Android. So we are on Internet Explorer and we are on klgadgetguide.com. So if I want to save the page to read later, I can actually do that by starting up the thumbs bar and I just share and you see there's a reading list over here, bookmark for later. Right, so when I press on reading list, I'm actually able to save klgadgetguide.com as a site for me to read later. So when I press on add, it goes into my reading list. So I do need to go to my web browser and find out the pages that I want to visit. So let's close Internet Explorer and we, we go to reading list, which is right here. It is available in the apps, you know, the, the app section as well. So it's on my on my start screen over here, I've created a shortcut. So let's just go into reading list and there's klgadgetguide.com. So this is what I can do um, with, with reading list and it's very convenient. I press on it, it takes me back to Internet Explorer side by side as you can see. So this is klgadgetguide.com, make sure you visit. That's pretty much for today people, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and leave comments down below the video if you think we are still missing some parts of Windows 8.1. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel at klgadgetguide, follow us on Twitter and like us at Facebook at klgadgetguide. We'll see you next time in our next video and remember to stay tuned to our ASUS Tai Chi full review if you can. That's it for now.